Bees Tooth. This is your girl here, Holly from the Bees Chick, coming at you with another video. And in today's video, we are going to be talking about power chords for the bees and why they are important to incorporate within your playing. So sit back, relax, grab your bees, and let's get started. So power chords are simply three noted chords utilizing our root, our fifth, and our octave. So technically we're using two different notes, our root and our fifth, and then our octave is just gonna be the distance between our root and our eighth note, which is the same notes, just different tonal sounds. So power chords are great because they don't have a major or minor scale that they accompany with. They are just basically any notes utilizing our root, fifth, and octave. So it is written with the note name with a five next to it. And that's really just what a power chord is. So playing a power chord, so I'm gonna get a little bit closer for you. So we're gonna play an A5. So we have our A, and we're gonna go to our E, and then our octave A. And how you can also remember it is using your pointer finger and then using your ring finger and your pinky. And that's how you play them. So a lot of rock and metal songs utilize power chords and I like to use them a lot in my playing. I play them as chords and I play them as arpeggios. So if you really want to change things up or you really want to learn a song to play solo on the bass, power chords are a really great way to do that. Songs like War Pigs. That utilizes a lot of power chords um, when playing it. And then a song like Holy Diver. Versatile, they're fun, you can incorporate them into a lot of different types of music. So, I want you guys to rock out to some power chords today and let me know what your favorite songs are to play with power chords if you play with them already. Enjoy this lesson, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.